Hey guys, this is Brent with Western Equipment. Today we're here with our next video in the Mow and Acre series. If you haven't caught any of our Mow and Acre videos before, this is the video series where we take a new John Deere mower each week, come out here to this acre of grass to show you the quality of cut and see just how fast we can mow an acre. So before this mower here, we've been into the E-Series tractor mowers. Now we're going to move up into the small residential Z-Track. So we're going to start here today with the 2019 John Deere Z345R. So this mower is the smallest residential Z-Track mower um, in the Z3 series. It's going to be equipped with the 42 inch deck. It's also going to be equipped with a 22 horsepower Briggs and Stratton engine. Now, some of the ways in which this mower is going to differ from the E-Series mowers that we've shown before is for one, obviously it is a zero turn mower. For two, we're going to move up from in the E-Series, your top speed was five and a half miles an hour. With this Z3 series, now we're moving into seven mile an hour top speed. So you're going to gain quite a bit of ground speed there. Some of the other things is instead of making circles the whole time like I had to do with the E-Series and the tractor style is from here, I'm going to make one circle around when I get started, then I'll be able to make passes back and forth, which should cut off some time as well. Um, so guys, let's go out here and see kind of what our mowing conditions are going to look like, what our grass height is going to look like. It's been pretty hot. We haven't had much rain uh, in prior videos. We've been looking at about four and a half inches to five inches on our grass height here. So we'll see kind of where we compare uh, as to last week. Like I said, we've got a lot of different mixed grasses here, mainly Bermuda, but it's really thick, really lush. I'm going to take my pin here and stick it down in. The tops of some of these blades of grass are right here at the top of the pin clip, so we're going to be pretty consistent to what we've been being. It's going to be right at that 5-inch mark, guys. So we're going to set this mower on 3, just to say consistent with how we've been cutting it before. Um, every time before we've been on 3, whether we've been four and a half, five inches. So we'll stay with that. That's a little more grass than you normally want to cut off. You usually just want to cut off about a third um, of your grass there for just for the health of your grass. It's about 100 degrees today, pretty hot, so it'll be pretty good cutting temperature for what you're going to run into uh, in those hot summer days with these mowers. So before we get started here, I'm going to hop on, turn it on, let you hear how it sounds. I'll make a little strip going this way so you can see how it disperses those clippings. I'll start my time and then we'll start mowing. One thing that I'd mentioned before I get started is, guys, with this Z3 series, uh, especially in this R, this is an R trim level, so it's going to be the highest spec trim level. Very comfortable. It's got an 18 inch high back seat. It's got a lot of contour, kind of holds you in, kind of gives it a lot more back support. We also have these armrests and these curved handles, which are going to make it comfortable for me while mowing. So from there, guys, I'll go ahead and turn it on. I'll rev it back just a little bit here. Now I'll engage the blades. covered in grass by the end of this but from here I'm just going to start mowing.
All right, guys, so that was our acre with the Z345R. Let's see what our time's at. We are right at 50 minutes. 50 minutes. Now, if you've been following our series and you've been watching these videos, when we first did it, we started with the John Deere E110, which was also a 42 inch deck mower, but it was a tractor style mower. And what we saw there is that we ran into 52, almost 53 minutes on that mower. Now, I know a lot of you are probably thinking, why did it take as long as it did with a zero turn when it's supposed to be so much faster? Some of the things you have to consider also as times is your cutting conditions. Um, out there on the north side of this lawn, we were at times probably cutting closer to six to seven inches. There were many, many times that I was not able to take full advantage of the seven mile per hour, which is things that you're gonna run into, um, like I said, just with those different cutting conditions. So there were a lot of times I wasn't able to go as fast um, as I, as I could have with the seven mile per hour of this mower. But the things that I would say that are big pluses about this mower is the ride quality. Uh, we talked before on the video uh, just prior to this in the E180, uh, which you can check out here above, was the ride quality there. Um, it had the larger back tires, the larger front tires, which made for really good ride quality in that instance. One thing that made this very similar is the higher back seat with the armrests here, guys. Very comfortable. One thing that people don't think about when going to a zero turn as opposed to a tractor style is you're able to put your feet out in front, which push you back and keep you into the seat. Some things with those tractor styles is your feet are more right up and you're having to kind of sometimes push yourself back into that seat, which makes for tight, being tiresome on your legs at the end of this. I'm even able to put my feet out front, really relax and stay lean back. Ride quality was great. The other thing that I'd really point out, guys, is the cut quality uh, for a 42 inch small residential mower is just phenomenal. If you look here, I would say out of the three mowers that we've done, this has been the most consistent, most even, and also the most well dispersed grass clippings that we've seen out of these mowers. I was noticing as I was making my passes and I was looking out to the side, that it's a 42 inch mower, so after two passes, we're looking at 84 inches wide. We were definitely throwing clippings that full length of those two passes and into the previously cut. So we were throwing clippings over 84 inches, guys, which makes for great cut quality, a great look across that lawn. The other great thing about going to the zero turn is being able to make those back and forth passes. You have a lot even, a lot more even looking cut. We don't have those turnaround circles like we had before with the tractor style. Um, so overall, guys, just very impressed with this mower. Um, the one thing that, like I talked about before, is I was not always able to take advantage of that seven mile an hour, being as how thick the grass was. You have to keep in mind to get that cut quality. Sometimes you are gonna have to slow down a little to get through that higher grass to get that cut quality that you want. So overall, guys, this was a, um, a great demo. I was very impressed with it. Uh, I was a little shocked by the change that the time wasn't a little faster. But like I said, with those cut, those cutting quality differences uh, and conditions, that's just what we run into. If you'd like to see the video to compare this to the 42 inch tractor, just check out this link above. That's gonna be on a 2019 John Deere E110. And remember this is the Z345R. And I'd highly encourage you if you're not subscribed, you're not tuning in and checking out this Moen Acre series to definitely do that. Hit that subscribe button below, like this video and stay, you know, stay tuned in for more Moen Acres here. So guys, thanks for watching. I hope this is exactly what you wanted to see. Don't forget, like and subscribe. Thanks for watching. We'll see you next time. Kind of dirty, man. I know, dude. I'm covered in it. I need a bath. I told you this wind is ridiculous. Is it in my ear? Oh, just a little bit. Mm. I can feel it. I can feel it. Here. Gotta love it. Oh yeah, look at that. Yeah. Yep. Yep. Gotta love it. Yeah. It's worth it. Every bit of it. It's all for you guys. It's all for you.